Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to replicate a look that I created last Sunday from this palette, Medusa's Makeup Eyeshadow Electro Palette that I received in my ice cream beauty bag. And it's a rainbow palette. And I did a few swatches in my video where I was unboxing it or unbagging it. And I can list that in the cards where you can see the swatches. But this row right here is what I swatched. And the green was a standout shade to me, the pigment from it. And they're pretty pastel on the eyes. But anyway, I wanted to create a look with it on Sunday. And so with that green as the inspiration that's what I did and I really liked the look it was um, pretty simple and so I just want to recreate that for you all today for those of you that may have received this palette or you may be interested in it it's a $25 palette is what it retailed for so I'm just going in with this Lorella brush and I'm gonna put this green right in the crease and it it, it is buildable it is a very buildable shade, and of course the eyeshadow primer is going to help with the intensity of the pigment and, you know, getting the eyeshadow to actually stay on the eyes. So I really thought it was pretty, and the makeup, even though the mascara smudged a bit throughout the day, the eyeshadow was still on my eyes. 12 hours later <laughs> which I thought was pretty amazing considering I didn't use any eyeshadow primer on Sunday I was in a hurry and I just did a quick little like 10 minute look I just wanted to kind of dabble in the palette a little bit and you know just kind of get my toes wet so to speak with it and uh, so anyway the look on Sunday Night Skin Treats was the leftovers from, you know, earlier that day. So anyway, that's really pretty, I think. And so I'm just going to flip that brush over and use the other side. And I'm going to go into this peach shade right here. It's called uh, Petal. And I'm just going to use that up here as a transition shade. And you know just blend this up to the brow not gonna do anything shiny up on underneath the brow today I just wanted to use this peach because I thought it was a very complimentary color that went with the green so well it blends in with my skin so well and you almost have to really look really close and really twice you know look twice to even notice that there is a peach shadow there okay and then what I did for the the eyelid is I took a short stubby brush one that was kind of intense um, or dense I should say and I went into this gold shade called vice and this is a gold shimmer and I just put this on the lid and it's got like a creamy base to it. And I think they created it like this on purpose to help it stick. So it's not anything really dramatic, but it does have a little bit of interest to the look, especially since it is a shimmer. But the look is definitely wearable for daytime. Some people don't like to wear shimmers at all during the day, but I like a little shimmer on the lid. You'll have to let me know down in the comments how you feel about a shimmer on the lid. Okay, and then with a smaller um, brush a little bit of detail I can use this for light detail work I dipped into the uh, black this black right here it's a matte but it's got like micro glitter in it 
so I guess it's not really a matte it's like a shimmer but anyway I just dipped into that just a little bit and I just went right here underneath the lash line just ever so lightly just to bring a little bit of you know I like to make my eyes look bigger and so when you wear a, a color a dark color underneath the lash line it makes the eyes look bigger and then I'll just take some right here on the out outer third of the top just to kind of help bring it all together it's like an, uh, a faux eyeliner kind of a thing with the focus really being on those outer edges and so just like that we have a look I think it's really easy and it doesn't take much to put this together so what I want to do now is I want to go off camera I'm going to do the other eye and I'm gonna throw on like a half lash and I've got these um, Demi Wispies here. Let me show them to you from Ardell. Well, they're actually Wispies, but I like to like cut these in half and use the outer edge as a half lash or you could use the inner half as a half lash, whatever you want to do. But anyway, I like these little lashes. I just think that they're um, just, you know, right for a natural daytime look and it, they're feathered and the band is invisible so you don't have to cover it up with a lot of heavy eyeliner and you can wear them you know to everyday functions and not feel like you're conspicuous so anyway i get these at ulta really nice so anyway let me do all that and i will be back and we'll finish up with lips okay i'm back y'all this is the finished eye look i think it's really pretty Got too much of a wing going on here on this side, but that's the way it is sometimes. It's like you've got sisters. They're not identical, but they're sisters. They do look alike. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna go in with this K-Voss Hay Highlighter. I've been really stuck on this little palette here lately. It's uh, got a lot of luminance. And so anyway, since I've got quite a bit of peachy goodness going on here today. I'm going to use this middle shade on my cheeks. And we're just going to put a little highlighter on. Get a little bit of glow going. Just strobe it on. I got a nice glow on my skin right now anyway my skin's in pretty good shape the under eye area always needs hydration though so you know that's something I have to work on on a daily basis because I do have dry dry skin okay a little bit for the nose just right here on, on the bridge of the nose not too much mostly on the tip and then the Cupid's bow. And we're going to use a little bit for the inner corner highlight. Let's see, I'm going to make sure and use a clean brush. My husband just pulled up. So let me do that and I will be back. Okay, I went in with some highlighter on my inner corner as well i took a little tiny brush and i uh, used the lightest shade from the k voss palette oops for the inner corner highlight anyway i like those two shades i hardly ever use that one there on the right except for maybe on the lid whenever i'm doing like a neutral look but anyway i like this little palette i like the formula because it doesn't show a lot of texture so anyway now we're going to go on with lips. I've been, I got this from Lorella Cosmetics. They did a collab with Peanuts. 
and they sent a lip liner and a lip gloss and it's really pretty like a brownie or peachy nude and so anyway I want to wear that today with this look It's a really creamy uh, lip liner. And it's definitely brown. But it's a warm kind of brown. So then the lip gloss, it's called Charlie. So cute. The lip gloss is like the peachy, you know, the peachiness. And it's pretty sheer and it creates like an ombre look with the lip liner it's really pretty so I'm not gonna try to purse my lips too much because that'll mix it up Anyway, I meant to tell y'all that while I was off camera and I was doing my lashes and stuff, I decided to go in with an eyeliner, a colored eyeliner. I'm using this one here from Crown, and it's dark green. Anyway, it's uh, one of those wooden pencils, but it's waterproof, and this is one of those pencils that'll last a while because it is one that you have to sharpen, and I put that in my waterline. And then I just kind of went over the outer edges of where I had laid down that black and just kind of emphasized that. So anyway, now I'm going to spray. I'm going to use this item one hit. I'm trying to pan this, if you want to call it trying to pan something. Anyway, I'm not really good at panning projects. But I am trying to empty this. Anyway, there's still quite a bit in there. That's one thing about painting projects. It takes forever. And that's what bugs me about painting projects. It's like, can I not choose something else out of my stash or my collection? Do I have to keep coming back to this one thing just so I can use it up? I'm kind of flushed. But anyway, it's warm. It's warm here in Tennessee. It's like 100 degrees. But anyway, there you go. That's the look. Probably have on too much blush for the heat that's going on. But the eye look is so pretty. I really like it. I really like this little palette so far with what I've used out of it. I'd like to go back into it and do something maybe with the blue and the silver. You know, and this peach right here is pretty as a transition color, you know, to blend out with. I really liked it. You probably could use the yellow too, but y'all know I'm not a fan of yellow too much. And then I want to try out that white. I want to see, check it out and see how, anyway, with a rainbow palette, you could just make all kinds of looks. <laughs> anyway, that came in my ice cream beauty bag and this they sent a complimentary mascara there were four products this time instead of three and so anyway this little mascara from medusa's um makeup came also and so anyway i've got that to try out still but anyway y'all have to let me know what you think about this palette do you think that You know, it's it's okay, even though it's not pressed pigments. It's like, it's a $25 palette, but the shades are kind of on the pastel side. They look bright in the palette, but they, on the eyes, they're like pastel. Really, really pretty. I really like it. I'm having fun with it, and I'm going to come back to it really, really soon. Okay, that is it for me today, you guys. Give me a thumbs up on the video, please. Let me know what you think about a green eye look with a peach transition shade and gold on the lids. 
and the lashes oh my gosh these lashes can't get enough of these little demi wispies and you they're from Ardell and you can get them at Ulta and they're very inexpensive and then while you're there pick up some of this duo glue this is a quick drying glue and it is amazing you just swipe it on the lash strip and blow on it like once you don't even have to set the lash down or nothing and bam it's tacky and so I like that because I'm impatient when it comes to lashes so anyway I don't know if y'all can see this or not but this is a swatch of the eyeliner it's just it's kind of a it says dark green on the eyeliner itself but I have other green eyeliners that are darker so anyway that's like a medium green to me or almost like an emerald green but anyway I'm happy with it I'm happy with it okay y'all have a great day thank you so much for watching taking time out of your busy day to watch my video and I will see you in the comments God bless you today is my prayer and I'll see you in the next video Bye.